So use algebra to show that recurring decimal 0 0.2813. What is recurring? So 0 0.28, this 131313 is repeating. Okay. So this value is what? This is repeating. And that is equal to what? We need to show that it is 557 by 1980. Okay. So we will call this as let it be x. Let's let this value be x. Then what I'm trying to do is I'm concentrating all these four decimals. So I'm multiplying both sides with what? 10,000. Because uh, to cover this four decimal places, we have to multiply with the 10,000. So both the equation number change, 10,000. So what I'm doing, multiply both sides with 10,000. So 10,000 X is equal to what? Since I'm multiplying with the 10,000, this much of decimal places becomes whole number. So 22813.131313, like that it goes on. So we can write in recurring form 10,000x as 2813.13. We can put a dot here. Then, also I'm multiplying parallelly with a multiply both sides with 100 so that we can shift two decimal places to left. So what happens 28.13 as 100x. So we develop two equations, right? Equation one and equation two. So from this equation, we can subtract, you know, equation one minus equation two so that we can get the value of x. So equation one minus equation two. So what happens? I will write here. I'll add a page. So first equation is what? 10,000 X is equal to 2813.13. Second equation is what? 100 X is equal to 28.13. I'm subtracting this. 10,000 minus 100 is what? 9,900 X is equal to what? If I'm subtracting this, this got canceled. So we're getting a integer what is that answer two seven eight five for x is equal to what two seven eight five divided by nine nine zero zero one nine eight zero hence 